More than 40 million students have trusted Shams to help them succeed in the classroom and on exams. McGraw-Hill is pleased to introduce Shams' outline of pre-calculus enhanced ebook, featuring 30 videos of instructors working through common pre-calculus problems. Please watch a sample video as we solve an exponents problem. Chapter 3, problem 13, simplify, assuming all variable bases are positive, each of the following terms. So for part A, we want to simplify 8y cubed z to the fourth, all raised to the two-thirds power. Now law of exponents say that we can take this two-thirds exponent with this large base and decompose it into each of the individual bases. So this simplifies down to 8 to the two-thirds power times y cubed to the two-thirds power times z to the fourth to the two-thirds power. Now we can rewrite each of these terms by noting first for this constant term that 8 to the 2 thirds power can be rewritten as 8 to the 1 third power squared. The second term can be found by taking the base y and multiplying the two exponents. So it becomes y to the 3 times 2 thirds power. And similarly for z, the third term becomes z to the 4 times 2 thirds power. Now we use the fact that 8 to the 1 thirds power is the cube root of 8. That is 2, so we have a 2 squared times y multiplying the exponents there becomes y squared. The last term becomes z to the 8 thirds power. And this simplifies down to 4y squared z to the 8 thirds power. Moving on to part b, we want to simplify the term 100x to the 8th y cubed all raised to the negative 1 half power. So the first thing we want to do is remove the negative exponent there. And that just basically is saying take the reciprocal of the base raised to the positive exponent. So our term here simplifies down first to 1 over 100x to the 8th y cubed all raised to the 1 half power. Now again, we use law of exponents. Each of the terms in the base gets raised to the common exponent of 1 half, so we get 1 over 100 to the 1 half power times x to the 8th to the 1 half power times y cubed to the 1 half power. Taking each of those terms individually, 100 to the 1 half power, that's the square root of 100, that is 10 x to the 8th raised to the 1 half power, we simplify it down by multiplying the exponents, so that's x to the 8th times 1 half. And similarly with the y term, this is y raised to the 3 times a half power. Or simplifying completely, this is 1 over 10, x to the 4th, y to the 3 halves power. For part c, we want to move on exactly the same way we've done in the first two cases. So the first thing we want to do is remove the negative exponent from uh, the common base by taking the reciprocal of the base. So our problem simplifies down first into 27y to the 6th over 8x to the 4th, all raised to the 2 thirds power. Now everything again gets raised to a 2 thirds power, so this becomes 27 to the 2 thirds times y to the 6th to the 2 thirds power, all over 8 to the 2 thirds times x to the 4th to the 2 thirds power. 27 to the 2 thirds is again the same as 27 to the 1 third power squared. y to the 6th to the 2 thirds is y to the 6 times 2 thirds, multiply the exponents. Same with the denominator and the constant terms, it becomes 8 to the 1 third squared times x to the 4 times 2 thirds. Now we use the fact that 27 to the 1 third power, that's the cube root of 27, that becomes a 3, so it's 3 squared. y times raised to the 6 times 2 thirds, well that's y to the 4th, all over, again, 2 squared times 8, or x to the 8 thirds power, and this becomes 9y to the 4th, over 4x to the 8 thirds power. For part d, first thing we want to do this time is note that because a is non-zero, we know that a to the zero simplifies down to one. So our problem really becomes 
z over 25x to the sixth all raised to the negative 3 halves power. And now we proceed like we have in the other problems. We get rid of the negative exponent by taking the reciprocal of the base, so that's 25x to the sixth over z all raised to the 3 halves power. We distribute the 3 halves exponent to each of the terms of the base, so this becomes 25 to the 3 halves times x to the sixth to the 3 halves all over z to the 3 halves. Use the fact that 25 to the 3 halves is really 25 to the 1 half raised to the third power. So x to the 6 to the 3 halves is x to the 6 times 3 halves. Multiply the exponents. Denominator is still z to the 3 halves. Use the fact that 25 to the 1 half, that's 25 uh, square root, that's 5. So we have 5 cubed. x, well, 6 times 3 halves is 9 over z to the 3 halves power. And this simplifies down to 125x to the 9th all over z to the 3 halves power.